Alright, hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is JD Bosch and I am bringing you another tutorial here on the Eisendrach and it's going to be for the wolf bow. Now as you see I am looking for four pictures around the map. These four pictures are what we need to look for to uh, get the arrow. So we need to look for this picture first which is the king sitting in the chair and it looks like that. That's how you know you've done it right. It will stay lit up and you'll hear a little boom. If you get it wrong you'll hear like a really bad that's the last one. You'll hear like a weird um, like piano, like you'll get it wrong. So that was the last one you just saw. That was the first one we just got. The second one is going to be like um, like a knight. He's sitting, um, he's in white, and there you go, that's the one. You hold that um, X square F on that, there you go, you've done it. And then the third one is going to be that little alien looking one that we got, uh, you saw at first, which is here. And then the last one, which is, I believe, is the Dead King, or a Dead Knight of some kind. And uh, these are in different locations. You won't see these around uh, in the same locations. They will change each and every time. So there's the last one. You will hear a wolf. How like that? That'll let you know you've done it right. And now we can go and get the bow, which is inside the wall down in the pyramid. Now, from here, we teleport to the rocket. And you need to get your bow and you need to fire an arrow on the flag which is on top of this little mountain bit here. So you see here I missed that one but then boom I hit it and this is going to drop a wolf skull. You need to pick this wolf skull up and then from here you need to take this back to the little pyramid place. And from here you're going to place the skull on a dead wolf skeleton as you see here. And from here, you need to follow this wolf, I'm fast forwarding this because it does take a while, to this first location in the middle of the map, and he's going to sniff around this little area here, and all you need to do is get kills off of zombies. Roughly about 10 to 12 kills, roughly, is what it takes to fill up this little um, area, I guess you could say. And uh, what you'll get out of this is the torso, which is like the rib cage part of it. And what we're doing here is we're collecting three parts, which is the head, torso and the legs this makes up a skeleton because after this you are going to need to um, go to two more locations which I'm going to now which is going to be outside a double tap and the last location can be located in one of the areas where the packer punch is um, now this is uh, probably in my opinion the second easiest bow besides the lightning bow um, I know some people find it a bit of a tricky situation with the arrow shooting at the bonfires but this I feel is a little easier but uh, you know it is what it is. So here he, I've done it. I'm ticking up the hole. And I get this torso. I um, must have got it wrong. But anyway. You know what I mean. So here's the last location. Just outside where the pack a punch locations are. Get a whole bunch of kills here. And when you're done. he will You'll pick the last part. And you'll see him walk over to the wall. And just look up. And you'll be thinking. What do I do here? Well. What you need to do is wait for the anti-gravity to happen. And when it happens. You need to wall run. Along the wall. And you need to shoot the symbol. That you just saw me do there and you'll see a le like a little level warp here and then you've done it right you hold x square f and the entire skeleton will be remade as well as the reforged arrow and so now you're pretty much done and all you've got to do now is upgrade it and as always what you need to do here is you need to go to this the designated box that is for the wolf bow Hold X square F on the chest, which will place the arrow in it. You'll get a max ammo. And you just need to get roughly 15 to 20 kills um, off of zombies. And this will get you the wolf bow. And in my opinion, it's actually one of the stronger bows. Um, back when it first came out, you could kill panzers very easily with this bow. And I'm pretty sure you can still. But I haven't tried it in a while. But I'm pretty sure it should still be the same. So here I finish it up. And then it goes, and then I get a little nice cinematic here. So in goes the arrow, and then boom, a big gush of light comes out, and voila, you now have the wolf bow done and upgraded. And it looks very nice, very ghosty looking. And what this bow does is once you fully charge the arrow, you can take out an entire stack of zombies in one shot. Now I know that they most of the arrows do that, but this takes them out literally in one shot. Um, with the lightning bow, the fire bow, and the void bow, they take out multiple, but it takes a while. Here, it just takes them all out just like that. Very, very good bow. If I had if the lightning bow was already taken, this would be the bow I go for next. 
But that is the end of the tutorial. I hope that you guys found this useful. If you couldn't build it before, I hope that you'll be able to do so now. And uh, if you like the video, then please do hit the like button. Let me know if you want to see more of this content. Um, don't know why I lagged there, but um, anyway, never mind. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed. If you did like and subscribe, and if you subscribe, it lets me know you want to see more of this content. I've now got two more bows left to do, which is the Void and the Fire Bow. They will be coming out soon. But anyway, I will see you guys in my next video soon. See you then.